Football. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhey. For today, we're going to talk about Hugh Freeze's comments, the Auburn football coach, about spring games. And just in general, kind of his thoughts on, you know, how we can change some things. And I think a big part of this is, you know, something that we've all kind of looked at because at the high school and pro level, you know, there's these scrimmages, right, before the season where you get to compete against other teams, you get to find out more about your team um, in a more controlled environment. And so that's been happening for both of those leagues for a long time. And so why not have that? in college football. And he mentioned a lot of good reasons for it, to be honest. I mean, if you kind of think about it, you could play UAB, you could play Alabama State. Um, He mentioned the idea of, you know, giving the money or a lot of the money to charities in your local community, which again, that's really cool as well. Um, I think he mentioned the the fact that you can decrease injury risk, which I guess is true, even though I think when you're playing against your team, there's a mindset of I'm not trying to hurt someone on my team and things like that. So I don't know if I quite buy that, um, but I do think that it would be really good for evaluations and for getting to see what your team is actually about. And obviously him and you know whoever the team is that they would be playing, they get to come to some sort of agreement, right, on how the game should be played, you know, how they get guys in, how they get guys out you know, what the game actually looks like. The A lot of people change the dynamics during the spring game as far as, you know, first string, second string, third string, who's playing against two, everything like that. So it is cool, and it is a, a reason for fans to actually show up at your spring games. Um, Auburn doesn't necessarily have this problem, but a lot of schools, people don't show up to spring games. So if you're actually playing someone, I do think it makes it more interesting. But I also think if you're going to have a preseason game in the spring, then what is the point of having these tune-up games in the fall? You know, I I do think that if you are going to have this, there's a potential path to getting rid of those tune-up games um, when you're playing kind of a a nobody team. You know, I know those upsets do happen, but I do believe that if you go into the fall and let's say, you know, for instance, a, a school like Alabama is playing Mercer, that game doesn't really need to happen in the fall. But it can happen in the spring, and I think you'd get the same kind of reaction, the same crowd if you do have a game in the spring as you would the fall. So I think that part of it is something I would probably add to this. I also think, you know, it's probably that, that again, do you add a game in the fall? Do you play a more competitive game in the fall? How does that work? But in my eyes, I think you'd have to get rid of that game in the fall, move it to the spring, play it in the spring in the fashion that you would want to play it. Now, a big issue for me with this. Um, So the transfer portal now opens on April 15th. I mean, April 15th. Most of these spring games are either happening on April 15th, you know, during the window, it's April 15th to April 30th. So there's some games on uh, the 22nd of April. There's some games that have already been played. And that's when the transfer portal opens for guys to enter the portal and make decisions. So, What Hugh Freeze is saying here is, oh, okay, so we're going to play a game during the transfer portal window or right before it. We're going to get a chance to evaluate guys on other teams, potentially, depending on who you're playing, and then potentially recruit them out of the portal. Now, he's not saying that, but I'm thinking it. I mean, it allows people to scout guys. Even if you're not playing that team, you get to watch other spring games. You get to watch other teams play against each other. And in spring games, you're typically getting to see younger guys play in those games. You're getting to see the young talent on a roster, see a five-star guy who's maybe a a three-star, or see a all-conference type player who is developing right before people's eyes at a school like, you know, UAB. And I think that's a problem. I think that is a huge problem. And it's something that's already been a problem the transfer portal has for many programs. But if you add a spring game where you're getting to see players who could enter the portal, who you might be able to collude into getting into the portal, if you're getting able to see them during the spring and then you're able to recruit them immediately after that, after, say, they've had a really good spring game, feeling good about themselves, and now, you know, an Auburn is looking at them or potentially, you know, trying to get them out of the portal or get them in the portal that's where things become really risky. And I think based on what we've learned from college football over the last couple years is that if there aren't rules in place, it does kind of become the Wild West. And so I'm for 
getting rid of all things that could lead to that or just not even going or moving to things that could add more to that. Now, if they're able to figure out a way to make this work and make sure that these things don't happen, I think it's a really cool idea because I do think the idea of playing this game in the spring where it doesn't necessarily matter very much and that way we don't have to watch it in the fall, I think that'd be great for the sport. I think it'd be an opportunity for fans to get excited about their team more during the spring. And also, I think it allows guys to really kind of play that game and figure out where they really are at on the depth chart. And so that part of it does help the portal. And that part of it does help college football. But it's the other parts that I have a huge problem with. Uh, But outside of that, I mean, I felt like good comments by Hugh Freeze. Very interesting idea to definitely contemplate and think about going forward. So that's it for today. This has been Crystal Ball College Football.